so my name is Charles and Co. And I'm going to be talking about how to improve Kubernetes from day one. My presentation is going to, going to have five parts. The first part is going to be about giving you an overview of Cameroon. The second part I'm going to talk about the different types of financial institutions present in Cameroon. And the third part is going to be about talking about the problems <coughs> banks in Cameroon face. The fourth part is going to be about offering some solutions to those problems. And the last part is going to be about saying why it matters for Cameroon to implement all the recommendations are out there. First of all, where is Cameroon? Cameroon is a Central African country. <coughs> and most people in the US know Cameroon as Africa in miniature because the country is highly diverse. In fact, in Cameroon you can find all different types or climate, or climates present in Africa. Besides, Cameroon counts more than 250 ethnic groups, and the country has two official languages, French and English. 80% of the population speaks English, and 20% of the population speaks French. Cameroon is the major producer of oil, wood, Cocoa, coffee. The gross domestic product of Cameroon in 2012 was 25 billion, according to the World Bank. And politically speaking, the country since 1960 has been governed by two people, which means it's quite stable. So, this slide is about the different types of financial institutions present in Cameroon. And the first bank present in Cameroon, the first major bank present in Cameroon is the central bank called BAC, or the Bank for Central African States. So that bank oversees and establishes banking holds, banking holds for six Central African states. You have Cameroon, you have Chad, you have Congo, you have uh, the Central African Republic, and you have Equatorial uh, Guinea. And COBAC is a branch of the Central Bank, and it just oversees <coughs> and regulate banks. Cameroon counts more than 14 investment and commercial banks. The country is home to more than 500 microfinance firms, and the country counts countless of stone chains. Tontins are informal financial institutions a lot of Cameroonians use when they need money. So, now I'm going to be talking about the different types of problems the banking system in Cameroon faces. The first problem is about the national banking coverage. In fact, in Cameroon, the banking coverage is only 7%. Cameroon counts more than 20 million people, meaning you have less than 2 million people with a bank account. Another problem is um, extreme poverty. A lot of people in Cameroon don't have enough, enough money. Like I said in the beginning, Cameroon is a poor country, a poor and developing country. Another problem is corruption. According to Amnesty International, Cameroon is the fifth, uh, 45th most corrupt country in the world. And you also have <coughs> underemployment and unemployment. According to the National Institute of Statistics in Cameroon, and underemployment stands at 70%, while unemployment stands at 10%. And other problems facing the banking, the, the banking industry in Cameroon are the practice of usury. Uh, the fact that some chains don't pay taxes while banks pay taxes, and you have the lack of infrastructures and tribalism. So, how to solve those problems? On this slide, I recommend a couple of actions. First of all, Cameroon should have should create a mechanism to assess risk. 
of firms and, and individuals because such an institution doesn't exist yet. Another thing Cameroon should do to improve its banking system would be to have or uh, to create an insurance deposit firm because such an institution doesn't exist still. Another, another solution Cameroon banks in Cameroon should do, they should get involved into mortgages because a lot of banks don't get involved in mortgages. Auto loans, auto loan starts and bonds. In Cameroon, only three companies are publicly traded and only the government in Cameroon issues bonds. So there's a market for banks to make money in. Another thing that the government of Cameroon can do to improve the banking system would be to legalize some chains so that they can pay taxes. And other things, other solutions would be to consist of fighting corruption, tribalism, and insecurity. So, why does it matter to have a sound banking system? A sound banking system would mean that Cameroon will be able to attract more investors, and attracting more investors would mean that people from overseas will create more jobs in Cameroon, and more jobs would mean that a lot of Cameroonians will have enough money, which will reduce poverty, and the country will be well off overall. Thank you.